Hello and welcome to the Django DRF API Query Fundamentals course. My name is Xander. Now this tutorial is part of a whole course playlist available for free on YouTube. For deeper learning, the full course is available for purchase at Udemy. Find all of these resources and links in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly promotions, discounts and Udemy course giveaways. This module introduces the essential tools and configurations required for setting up the development environment for this course. So we're going to cover, if you are not familiar with Visual Studio Code, how to start working with Visual Studio Code, setting up linting and formatting, which is optional, and working with Docker. All the services that we interact with in this course, Django, Postgres SQL database, that's all going to be run from a Docker container. This module is very much geared towards those who might be new to Visual Studio Code and Docker. Of course, if you are already familiar with these tools, then you can skip this module, but do check out the last few tutorials where we create a Postgres SQL and Django service to make sure that you have uh, familiarized yourself with that process because we will be utilizing that base code throughout this course to automate the process of setting up a, a database and the Django service in a Docker container. So by the end of this module, you would have learned how to create the development environment, installed and have ready Visual Studio Code and Docker desktop. By the end of this module, you would have also deployed a Postgres SQL and Django API service using Docker and Docker containers. And I'll take you through some of the fundamentals of containerized development, including learning a little bit about Docker, images, containers, and volumes. These are the three main tools that we're going to be utilizing with Docker throughout this course. If you are new to Docker, it might seem like there is a steep learning curve, but once you understand the very basics, that is pretty much all that we're going to need in this course, the very basics of using Docker. Hopefully you will become very quickly familiarized with Docker and feel comfortable utilizing it throughout this course. Now, throughout this course, the primary resource that you can access is the source code that we generate in each module. To download the source code for any module, just head over to the first tutorial, the module primer. From there, you'll be able to download the source code. Right, so if you are familiar with Docker and Visual Studio Code, then head over to the maybe the end of this tutorial or check out the source code. Make sure that you are familiar with the code that we're using to set up the Django and Postgres SQL service. In the next tutorial, I'll take you through how to set up and just a, a brief overview of how to utilize Visual Studio Code. Enough information that you would need to follow along in this course. 